So now let's work on the search menu. We're gonna make it like this one right here. So this is what we're gonna try and create. So we're gonna start from here. So let me go back to the, so now we are in the header. So let me create a new component. So we're gonna go to components, header, and inside this header, we can create another component, okay? And let's call it search menu, okay? Dot GS and RFC. And then close this right here. And let me import it right here, okay? So this is the header left, it's gonna be after the header left, right here, okay? And let's, what we call it, the search menu. Okay, like this, okay? And let's go inside there and work on it, okay? So the first thing is the, we're gonna return, let me just remove this. So it's gonna be a div that has the same, the, the header left, class name, okay, header left. And also it's gonna have another class name, which is gonna be search area area and also another class name which is going to be scroll bar okay and inside this we can have a search wrap like this and inside this also going to have a header logo and then we're going to have a circle that is going to have the hover one and inside this we're going to have the logo or not the logo but the return icon or svg like this uh, also, we're gonna have uh, after it. We're gonna right here. We're gonna have a search div, and inside this, we're gonna have a div, and inside this, let's have the search icon, which is gonna be the SVG. Okay, and we're gonna pass the color. Let me get the color from here. So we had this color right here. Let's copy it. You can pass it, you know, but I'm just gonna have it right here. It's not a problem. But passing it, I think, would be okay. So let me just pass it. Let's go right here. Like this. Okay, just to not write this code again. You can go to the props and get the color. And then use it right here. So the color is going to be the color that's best. Like this, okay? And then, let me see what we have. And after this, we can have an input. A type text. And the placeholder is going to be the same search Facebook, okay? Let's see what else we have, and after we're gonna have a search history header. Okay, history. So let me do something. Let me go right here to the header itself, and let me hide this because it's gonna be hidden when we show this, so we can see how it looks. So display, and let's have it none. Okay, this gonna create this problem. So let me just cut it from here, and let me have a div. Right here, right here, which is have everything inside the header left, like this, and take this div and make it, you know, display now, like this, okay? So we can see this only. Uh, let me go back right here to this, not the size, but the search menu. And in this div, we're gonna have a span. And so this, we're gonna have recent searches, like this. And also, we're gonna have an href. You can have a link. I'm gonna just have an href, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, inside this, we just have an edit. Okay, let me see what else we have. We're gonna have two other divs, which is gonna be the search history. We're not gonna work on them right now, but this is when we have our search history. Okay, also, we're gonna have another div, which is gonna be let me just see search results. And also we're gonna have the scroll bar uh, class name okay so, now, so this is for the header let me do something first let me go right here and this this is gonna be the header left I know this is boring for you but I need it to make sure that everything is alright okay and this ends right here and this is gonna be for the middle okay so let's copy that and go after the middle okay okay right here and then copy it right here and this is right so you know your ads, okay? I'm just commentating everything, okay? Like this. And after this, we're just gonna have another one, which is gonna be for the search menu. Like this, okay? And inside this, we're gonna have, so now let's work on the size. You can just copy them from the attachments if you don't wanna, you know, see them from here and do it all the time, right? Here, right. Here. Okay, so it's gonna be the search area first. And I'm gonna try to be fast with them. So the position is gonna be absolute. Okay, that's the first thing. I'm gonna have align items to be flex start. I'm gonna have the flex direction to be column 
okay and i have gap to be six pixels and also the background is going to be var which is going to be bg primary white okay and then the box shadow is going to be zero 12 pixels 12 pixels and it's going to be the shadow variable one so variable shadow one and also going to have insets which is the shadow from inside the elements which is going to be insets and then it's going to be zero 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 and then we're going to have a variable which is going to be shadow insert insets this we have okay that's the first thing also we're going to need to make the border radius this round and also this round so border radius bottom left 10 pixels and also bottom right is going to be 10 pixels okay a transition value which is going to be all 0.2 seconds you can have like font smoothing so whip kit font smoothing if we get it we don't get it so we can write ourselves so whip kit if i can write okay this is pissing me off okay and then we're gonna have on t and yes okay like this also gonna have i've added the transition you can have like a z index which is gonna be one this is if you're gonna leave the elements i'm gonna hide it but you can leave it it's not a problem if you're gonna put these elements over the other elements then you should do it if not you can just remove it okay so i'm gonna say what we're gonna do else okay now the minimum height is gonna be 400 pixels and also the maximum height is gonna be 70 vh like this so this is i think all let me just review this okay i've done the padding or not i'm not and i did it so the padding is gonna be uh let's see maybe eight pixels from top 12 pixels or 16 pixels from right and 10 from bottom and 6 from left like this and let's go to the search wrap and it's going to be display flex align items center okay and it's going to go like this and also going to need the gap to be 6 pixels and then also going to go to the search area and then we're going to select the search div inside it also going to have the padding to be 10 pixels from top 44 pixels from bottom and also from the not from bottom from right and from bottom is going to be 10 pixels and 12 pixels from left and the width is going to be 252 pixels okay 252 pixels and then after this we're going to have a gap to be 4 pixels okay let's go after this now we're going to se select the input so the search area and then we're going to go then we're going to go to the search and then the input and we're going to make this so the pad then left is going to be four pixels i'm just trying to make it as perfect as possible so also we're going to select the svg so search this is going to be in the search area okay so this is the search area and then also the search and then we're going to select the svg and transform and then translate and we're going to translate which side the y and then it's going to be one pixels and it's gonna move a bit okay i'm also gonna select the elements when it's placeholder so search area dot search and then the inputs i'm gonna select this placeholder which is the text you have in the input in the first place and also it's gonna be a transform and that translate is gonna be y let's see what's the value minus two pixels okay and then also we're gonna select the placeholder when you focus so when you focus when you click like this this is gonna change so we can have dot search area search and then the input when it's focus so you can select that when you focus on it and then you select the placeholder so this way you can do it it's pretty cool and you're gonna go transform and then translate y and then it's gonna be minus one pixel like this when you, this is gonna be different as you see okay so that's the things that we have right now let me go to the search history search history if i can write it history header okay like this i don't know what i was doing okay i'm just looking uh, through my phone to see the size that i had so the width is going to be 100 and also the display is going to be flex and i'll line it some center and uh, let's see justify content it's going to be spaced out so space between not around space between and uh, the padding is going to be 10 pixels and the font size is going to be 14 pixels okay so they should now be okay so they should now be separated like this okay for this so let me see what else we have now we're going to go to the span so let me select this and then go right here select the span 
after the selects and the span this is going to be a width not the width when i'm doing font so which is going to be 600 and also the font size is going to be 16 pixels okay and we're going to do the same way we're going to select that but this time we're going to select the link which is the a tag okay and then right here let me see i have so the color is simply the cursor is going to be pointer and also the color is going to be blue so color variable blue color like this and uh, the last thing we're going to go just simply right here and let me add the search history right here. so the search history and so you just make sure that the width is 100 percent like this okay so now if we went from here this is going to be you know we're going to add the size after but after but as you see if we go back from here to here let me go full screen and see the difference you're not going to see any difference okay so no difference between them this is just the color right here we're going to change that so we can go right here go back to the search menu and also pass the color for it to so the search now that we return also we can pass the color and it's going to be color like this and now we change so let me go from here and here and it looks exactly the same okay so in the beginning it's not going to be shown so let's so now let's work on showing it only when we click right here let me go back so we're only going to show it when you click and also the click outside okay so let's do that that's not going to be hard so let's go right here first of all let's go back to the header itself let me remove this um, first of all let's define a state let's call it show search menu and search show search menu and it's going to be use state and it's going to be false in the beginning so it's not going to be shown in the beginning okay so we can take this we do a test right here so only when it's true then we're going to show this element right here, which is going to be the search menu okay so now it's going to disappear let me go and remove this so it's going to go back to normal so this is what we win uh, we were at so now when we click on here this is going to show okay so let's go to that to the search dev which is this one okay and i don't click event i don't click we're going to have an arrow phone right we did right here okay so this is going to be just an arrow function right here and all we're going to do is just set the show uh search menu we're going to make it true okay oh, i don't know what this is okay this is going to be true so now when we make this true this is going to change to true and this is now is going to be shown so we click on yes now it's going to be shown okay so now let's work on hiding it to click outside okay so we can do this in search menu we can go back right here let me see if we have the function just click outside so we don't have it okay so first of all let's define a ref so let's call this menu and it's going to be use ref so we can refresh our elements it's going to be null so this div right here all it's going to be referenced referenced right here and the reference is going to be uh, called menu okay don't worry about the score but this is we're going to work on that because we're going to have a lot of menus we're going to have a scroll bar right here and then we're going to work on it so don't, don't worry we're going to have a search list right here and then we're going to see everything okay so now we need me import the function so just click outside and it's going to be form and go to utils or helpers and then we're going to have the function click outside okay so we can run this function now and simply we're going to pass the menu which is the reference and also we're going to have an R function and all it does is going to set this element so this one set the short search term to true so we're going to take that so we can change it so we need to pass it okay with the components and then we can go to the component itself and then get it from here with the props and simply after here we're just going to take that and just make it false simply like this okay so now click outside and it's going to disappear so now let me see open it and now close it open it close it okay so now last thing once when you click on this we want to hide this also so it's going to be quite simple the same way we had so we're going to go to the to this div which is has the icon so we're going to go on click on click and then we're going to have an arrow function and right here we're going to do the same thing so set show let me just get it and then false like this okay so now let's see what we have click here click outside fine click here also and it works okay so we're not finished yet there's a few things that we need to perfect okay so first of all when we click right here this is not gonna get you know focused so we make sure that when we click on the whole div this input gets focused okay like this so the way that we're gonna do it so we're gonna go to the uh, to the user reference here we're gonna add another reference which is gonna be the input 
gonna check that we're gonna go to the input and add it and simply now we're gonna go to the holder which is the search which is this one and when we click on it simply have an R function and all we're gonna do is take the reference which is gonna be the input and then take current and then we're gonna simply focus the function and it's gonna focus automatically so now you can go to any place on the search and click on it and the div is gonna get focused simply also one of the things that we're gonna do when you focus on the input this gets you know removed or the icon removed and when you click outside it now it now it gets shown again and here we're gonna learn about something really nice so let me first have like a state for it so cons let's call it icon visible it's going to be set icon visible i don't know if i'm writing right or not so use state and this is going to be in the beginning too because it's going to be shown automatically in the beginning okay so let's take this so i'm going to go to the icon which is this one and we're going to simply test it when it's true then also and when it's true then we're going to show it okay if not true not going to show it. so if this was false i repeat this is not going to be shown okay so only it's shown when it's true so simply what we're going to do is we're going to go to the input and we get an on focus so the on focus is means that when we click on the input and we focus on it like this okay that's what it means so when it's focused and the arrow as you see right here that means you can write and that's the focus so when we focus on that so we simply gonna have an arrow function and all it does all it does is gonna set the icon visible to false and that's gonna hide it so now we do focus it's gonna hide it now we want to win up focus we're gonna do it and what is unfocus for the inputs okay so this is quite simple it's gonna be on blur and on blur is the opposite of the focus only works for the inputs okay and i'm gonna do the same things just the difference that it's visible to false is gonna be true so when you unfocus is on blur and now it's gonna be true so let's refresh this to see so now we open this now when we click on it now as you see it's focused and it disappeared now we unfocus and it goes back to normal so that was quite simply and i think you learned something new right here also one thing that we're going to do is right here when you click automatically it gets focused and now when we click right here it's not get focused okay so we're going to do the way that we're going to do it is quite simple okay <laughs> you're going to be amazed okay so simply let's have a use effect right here and all the use effects is just as runs one time when the component load so this is an empty dependency and i've talked about the use effects before so simply right here we're just going to go to the input and current and then focus so when we open the component the first time it's just going to simply focus for itself so i click and it's focused <laughs> so that was like quite easy so now let me review everything that we've done right here so we click right here it opens and it's focused you click outside it it shows your focus and it shows right here click outside fine and also this fine so that was very very informative i think you've learned a lot right here so let's see what next